What's up, YouTube? This is M West with Tech Attack, and I'm here with a really quick update for you guys. Um, Google just released uh, Google Chrome uh, Beta 10, and uh, basically what it is, it's a faster version of Google Chrome. Uh, for anybody that's been using Google Chrome on their MacBooks or any other Apple devices, you may have noticed that there was some type of slowdown or battery drainage on your battery for some reason using Google Chrome, but they said that you're almost supposed to experience about a 80% decrease in CPU or GPU usage um, using the new Google, Google Chrome. So what you want to do is just go out there and um, just Google um, Google Chrome uh, Beta 10 and you should be able to find it and then download it and test it on your computer and um, see if it really does work. Um, they actually do um, list a bunch of features uh, with this new Google Chrome and how it's supposed to work and all the different things you can do. But instead of me just talking about it, let's go ahead and just watch the video. I'll go ahead and blow it up for you guys so we can all check it out together. There we Hi, go. Dave. I'd like to give a quick demo of Chrome's cool new settings interface. This new approach to browser settings will make tweaking Chrome super easy so that Chrome is configured just the way you like it on your computer. To get to Chrome settings on Windows, click on the wrench menu and select options. If you're on a Mac, choose preferences. The first thing you notice is that Chrome settings menu is now a tab in the browser instead of a separate dialog box. With the new settings menu in Chrome, I can quickly and easily use the search box to find the settings that I'm looking for. Let's say that I'd like to import all my bookmarks from another browser. All I have to do is click in the search box, type import, and voila, I found the exact setting that I need. Chrome's new settings interface is also particularly handy if you're helping friends or family with a little tech support. Chrome's Omnibox automatically updates with a direct link to the settings that you're looking for. This means that I can easily help friends and family customize Chrome by simply sending them these direct links. For example, my dad recently asked me to help him manage his passwords in Chrome. But since dad lives 8,000 miles away in a different country, I won't be able to help him in person. So first, to find the password manager, I type password in the search box to see all instances of where password appears. Once I've found the password manager, I can then copy its direct link and send it to my dad. All my dad has to do is copy and paste this link into his Omnibox. The link will automatically open the password manager in Chrome settings. Well, I'm pretty excited about the uh, new Google Chrome Beta 10, and um, I'll be testing it out on my MacBook, and then I'll also be testing it out on the uh, Google Chrome CR48 laptop that I have that I'm beta testing as well. Um, you guys try it out this weekend, and let me know how you like it. Um, you guys can leave your feedback in the comment section below. Other than that, thanks for checking out my fourth video, YouTube, and you guys have a great weekend. Peace.